The ping command is a useful tool for testing the connection between your computer and another device within your local area network or on the internet. It is supported on various platforms, including Windows, Linux, Unix, and Mac OS. You can use the ping command to check connectivity with not only computers but also routers, printers, networked cameras, smartphones, or any IoT devices that have an IP address within the same network. Now let's see how the ping command operates. The ping command is like asking another device, are you there? If the device is reachable and working, it replies back, establishing a communication loop between the devices. First, the ping command is initiated via the command line interface or terminal. The command is followed by the target address, either an IP address or a domain name. Upon execution, the system prepares and dispatches ICMP echo request packets to the specified destination. By default, the ping command sends for numbers of ICMP echo request packets when executed. These packets contain unique identification numbers, allowing the sender to match requests with replies. As the packets traverse the network, they reach the intended destination. Upon arrival at the destination, the receiving device processes the ICMP echo request packets and generates ICMP echo reply packets. The echo reply packets are then sent back to the originating system across the network. The ping command's response provides valuable information about the communication between your device and the target destination. It includes the time taken for the packets to reach the destination and return, commonly known as the round-trip time, RTT. This RTT value offers insight into the speed and efficiency of the connection. Additionally, the response indicates the number of packets sent, received, and lost during the transmission. Analyzing the packet loss percentage aids in identifying potential network issues, such as congestion or faulty hardware, that could impact data transmission. Moreover, observing variations in the RTT across different packets helps gauge the consistency and stability of the connection. Consistent RTT values indicate a stable network, while fluctuating RTT values might imply network congestion or varying performance. Finally, the response might display specific errors or messages, such as request timed out or destination host unreachable, providing clues about the reasons behind unsuccessful connections and potential issues within the network infrastructure. In the context of using the ping command, Request timed out and destination host unreachable are two different responses indicating distinct issues related to connectivity. Request timed out message appears when the ping command doesn't receive a reply within a certain time frame, timeout period, after sending an ICMP echo request to a specific IP address or host. It usually suggests that the targeted device or host may be reachable but it's not responding to the ICMP echo request. This lack of response can happen due to various reasons. The device might be configured not to respond to ICMP echo requests due to firewall settings or security configurations. There could be network congestion or issues causing delays in the response, resulting in the timeout. Destination host unreachable message indicates that the ping command was unable to reach the intended destination or host. Possible reasons for this message include The target IP address or host name might be incorrect or non-existent. There might be network misconfigurations, such as routing issues or hardware problems, preventing the communication to the specified host. The target host might be offline or not connected to the network. In summary, request timed out suggests that the host might be reachable but isn't responding to ICMP echo requests within the timeout period, while destination host unreachable indicates that the ping command couldn't establish a connection to the intended destination for various reasons. Beyond assessing network connectivity, device availability, 
packet loss, and latency. Ping also enables indirect checks on DNS servers and local host configurations. When you ping a domain name, it goes through a process of DNS resolution to find the corresponding IP address. This process indirectly validates the DNS server's functionality by confirming whether the domain can be resolved to an IP address. As an example, I'm pinging google.com. You'll notice that the ping command shows the IP address that google.com resolves to and starts sending ICMP echo requests to that IP address. This indicates successful DNS resolution. Additionally, pinging your own computer, commonly referred to as the local host, serves as a self-test. By pinging the local host, you're essentially sending ICMP echo requests to your own machine and expecting a response. It helps determine the functionality of the network stack and the network interface. If you can successfully ping your local host, usually done by using ping localhost or ping 127.0.0.1, it confirms that the network stack is operational, the network interface is active, and the TCP IP protocol is functioning correctly. Ping command offers several switches. Switches are additional flags or modifiers that can be added to the ping command to modify its behavior and extend its functionality. These switches help users customize the ping command's operation according to specific requirements. Here are some commonly used switches for the ping command in Windows. Hyphen T. Continuously ping the specified host until manually stopped using Control plus C. Example, ping hyphen T google.com. Hyphen N specifies the number of echo requests to send. Example, ping-n5google.com will send five echo requests to google.com. Hyphen L. Set the size of the ICMP packet to be sent. To see a complete list of available options and switches for the ping command in Windows, you can type and enter ping slash question mark in the command prompt. Performing a ping test serves as a remote diagnostic tool, allowing troubleshooting without immediate physical cable or hardware inspection. Failure in the ping test typically indicates a network-related issue. Hence, conducting a ping test is advisable prior to considering hardware inspections. That's all for this video. We hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.